Uh, hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to design single footing in CSI Safe version 20. So here is the uh, CSI Safe. Uh, you can uh, design this using different methods. Uh, first, you can uh, design the hour structure, superstructure in like columns, beams, uh, other elements in uh, it helps, then you can import the data out to this software as well as you can uh, separately take the uh, column loads and then you can design uh, independently in this software so using uh, use built-in setting so using the matrix and the design of the material region is United States using this code and it's okay next uh, we want to select here. Here is called single footing. In the single footing, I will give the uh, size of the footing. Now, along the x direction, the left edge distance should be two meter, which is uh, two meter in the uh, left side. This side, in the right side, two meter. Uh, so just. Uh, uh, suppose we have a 4 by 4 meter uh, column, uh, footing, and the same we want uh, 2 by 2 in the y direction. Now the footing thickness, uh, approximately, we want to use 60 millimeter, and the separate modulus is, uh, it can be, it depends on your uh, soil properties, and I want to take it 100 uh, uh, 18,000 kN per this unit. Now, here I have the date load and line load. So, the date load is 250 kN from upper studies, and uh, we also can consider the moment in case I want to consider 150 uh, in the X and 140 in the Y direction from date load cost. The live load is about 150, 1575 in a X and 75 in the Y. The load size which come from the square column is 60, 600 by 600 or 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. In case uh, we want this to be 18 by 18, so a large column. Now it's okay. Now the column with the uh, foundation is actually created. Now, in case we can go to the 3D model, uh, this is it. If I want to uh, turn on the uh, extrusion, you can see this is it. So the column is the bottom, the location of the column is in the center. Now, next, we want to define the material. The material is already actually giving. In case if I go to select, go to plan. If I go to select this one and right click, and here is the footing, the section properties is footing, and the material. So the footing has different material. We can go to change it. Uh, we can go to define, and here is uh, section properties, and we go to the uh, slab section. The slab section that is footing so this is footing one the concrete is using 400 uh, psi so i want that should be selected the type of modeling is shell 10 is correct and the type of property is footing so we have another one also but we want to use footing now okay this is it so the next is we want to diff uh, we want to create some combination we want to go to the load combination and we want to just use uh, automatic 
here is you can design concrete slab beam composite beam or you can go to add uh, a new combo manually so this is the slab the footing is a sort of slab so we want to use the same slab now you see there is two combination it's finished because everything was uh, typical and we were brought from the template and there's nothing to, uh, to define now we want to go to the analysis and first save the model uh, save the model single footing save it and we'll go to run the analysis you can uh, there is an option you can check here or you can go to analysis to perform the analysis or press f5 now it's starting to analyze the model you can go to in a scene as 3d Yeah, it's finished and we can go to in a 3d we can see the response Wait. so the design when we perform the design and uh, everything will uh, do the same time simultaneously so we can go to see we use the uh, 3d okay plan this is the, uh, the uh, we can see the deformation from the dead load and we can see the deformation in each area uh, the settlement is uh, about 10 millimeter in this area you can uh, uh, see the gradient the contour this area is less you can see uh, uh, 8 millimeter and here is the larger one 10 millimeter now uh, we also can go to the display display and here is called uh, soil pressure from the dead loot or from the lime so I want to do uh, apply the, uh, the dead loot and you can see here is the soil pressure in each area so we're giving 180 so it's less than uh, giving uh, so the soil bearing is okay uh, now uh, we want to go to the uh, design uh, here in design part uh, because the slab the foundation is as it looks like a slab so we will use this one and uh, the resisting factor T tension control this is giving automatic based on the ACI uh, 19 and in case if you want to consider the cover you can change the cover as well so I will keep it as a default so now uh, we can uh, go to to the design option from here or here and just design it now you can see the amount of rebar because we used strap and you can see based of in this area which is the column so it required more rebar. Uh, in the design you can ask uh, in in the display uh, shoe slab design and you can check uh, each layers from here uh, let's suppose we use the strip base and we want to shoot the number of rebars in the top bottom using size one apply and you can see the data is changed if we want to layer this is one layer a one layer b and going to change this layer to uh, this one you can see and it's like the same area 
now we want to go to the detailing here is detailing you can first change the uh, some uh, um, actually the rebar configuration but we want to accept as a default and just we want to automatically do a check for design the detailings now it created a detailing for our foot footings now we can go to see the 3d how the rebar is configured here is the rebar we should provide for this uh, steel reinforcement concrete foundation two layer bottom top and you can uh, if you want to change you can go to back and from the detail from the detail you can change it now uh, we can go to the here there is the rebar detailing uh, top rebar in the section yeah this is a uh, four meter by four meter foundation and this is the uh, you can go to the section a uh, layer top so the section a uh, view here is a uh, section a and you can see how rebar is configured and in the section b other side oh, so this is a proofer doing uh, this one and this is the all rebar uh, how they putting together the rebars top bottom using blue color and this is the plan and now you can see the number of rebar uh, 20 at 130 20 at number of 30 millimeter uh, we have also some other group and uh, here is some preference you can change it the colors and also the everything so uh, this is it so final after the design is completed you can uh, export this as a uh, we have so many options and the best thing is use river structure uh, which we can provide uh, the detailing there as well so this is the end of tutorial and if you have any question please put in the comment and we will see uh, to find time and answer your question and the next tutorial will be the combined footing, footing and also the mat or raft footing so then we will start a series uh, which is we will bring design a structure in ETAPs or SAP and then bring the foundation and slab to design here. See you next time.